Hi guys, welcome back to another Makeup Declutter. Today we are going to be getting rid of some concealers. I will link to my previous declutters down below that I have done this year. Most recently I did a declutter of 150 foundations. So be sure to check that out down below, but I'm also a concealer junkie for sure. So let's go ahead and get started. all of its glory I guess I have 119 concealers here pot concealers along the bottom these two rows here are under eye concealers I have some palettes over there brighteners face concealers and correctors as I've mentioned uh, YouTube is my job therefore I have an excess of products this is not normal but I like to have a number of products from different brands different formats to compare dupe and just for variety's sake, and I'm also a makeup junkie, and anything that I'm getting rid of that's super old will be thrown out, anything else will be given to friends, anything brand new will be donated to a shelter for women who uh, definitely need a little pick-me-up. I'm going to make a really bold statement, but if I had to choose to wear one concealer for the rest of my life, it would be Tarte Shape Tape. It's amazing. I wear the shade medium, keeping these 100%. Another great concealer that I've really been loving are the Benefit Boying Concealer. I wear these in shade 3, and I really like all of them. The Brightening Concealer is formerly the Erase Paste, so it's kind of a corrector. Airbrush is really nice and lightweight under the eyes. You can kind of build it up. It's best when paired with another concealer, and then the Industrial Strength is great for covering up any acne marks. I'm going to keep talking about some of my concealer favorites. So this is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. By the way, I have a flu if I sound a little bit stuffed up. But I have the shade Ginger for under my eyes. And then Biscuit and Caramel I use to spot conceal. So I'm keeping all three of these. I also have the shade Ginger in the NARS Creamy Concealer, another favorite of mine. This is actually a brand new one. I just finished up one, which obviously means I love it because look at all the concealers I have. So this, of course, is staying. Some great drugstore concealers here. The Revlon Youth FX Fill and Blur Concealer. If you like this Maybelline Age Rewind, I think you'll like this one as well. So they are both actually... This one, the container is broken and I can't get any more concealer out of it, so maybe I should get rid of it, which kind of sucks. But I also like the Superstate Better Skin from Maybelline, and then I really love this one too from NYX. It is the HD Concealer. I wear the shade Medium in this, Medium in this, Medium Deep in the Revlon Youth Effects, and... I also wear the shade Medium or Medium Deep in this one. This one is in the shade Deep, which is a little too dark for me, so I am going to get rid of this. I'm also going to get rid of this one in the shade medium because I wear medium deep. So here are some concealers I'm going to be getting rid of. I really tried to make all of these work. This one initially feels really nice, CoverGirl Outlast, but it blends away to nothing. This one disappointed me as well. It's the original Kat Von D Locket Concealer, and I did not like it. It didn't give me the coverage that I wanted, as well as this LA Colors. I picked this up in a Dollar Tree haul, hoping it could be a little gem, and it really wasn't. Back to some more concealers that I really like. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is in Y33, so it's kind of like a a brightening skin tone concealer and then R40 which is more of a corrector and these are both really nice. I have a few MAC foundations here. The Pro Longwear Concealer is a classic. I have this in NC30. Generally I wear it in NC35 under my eyes. I just, I went too hardcore. That's too light for my under eyes, but I am going to keep it. It's okay for mixing in. And then this is an NC42 I bought to mix in with moisturizer. I saw somebody do that and I thought that was kind of an interesting idea. I really love this palette. I've gotten tons of use out of it. This is in the dark shade, I think it is medium deep and then this is the studio fix perfecting stick which i actually like but i got it in nc45 which is not dark enough to contour and too dark to conceal so i'm going to get rid of this but it is a nice lightweight stick formula on to some potted concealers the time bomb in medium i absolutely love this i've actually hit pan on it which is insane the nyx dark circle concealer in deep this is a repurchase so these two are staying for sure benefit erase paste i've had this for a really long it has like an elf sticker on it or something i've had this for a really long time and have the updated formula so i'm going to get rid of that ex1 delete concealer in d200 this is good for spa concealing and this is a becca dual concealer. I can't remember if I got this on Holt Look or at Winners, but it's not sold anymore, so there's really no point of me holding on to it because I can't really recommend it to you, but if you do see it out, it is quite high coverage and good for spots. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealers here. I also have the foundation, so let me know if you'd like to see 
a review on both of them. I'm going to be keeping the shade 7, which I think I might be able to do like a cream bronzing kind of thing with. The shade 4 along with the shade 5. I think I'm going to have to mix 4 and 5 together, but I am going to be getting rid of 3 and 6. I have three of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus concealers here. I like this. I've seen people compare it to Tarte Shape Tape and I totally disagree. I respect your opinion, but I don't think it's the same at all, but I do like it. It's a little bit of a drier, moussier formula, but it is nice. I'm going to be keeping the shade medium tawny. These shades are a little off for me. Okay, so these three foundations are getting the boot. Um, I don't find that this has much coverage in it. It's a gigantic bottle though, so if you find this and like it, you're getting 0.6 fluid ounces in here. That's like half the size of a foundation. <laughs> the Vichy Tonti Doll, um, again, not a great shade match for me. It's kind of like a brightening concealer. Joe Fresh Longwear Spot Concealer. This is too light to be a spot concealer on me and too heavy to be under eyes. And this one from e.l.f., I was actually going to get rid of it, but I just realized that it's my only e.l.f. concealer, so I'm gonna hold on to it just for like, you know, full face of elf or something along those lines I like to have a variety so you'll stay but not because I love you moving on to some more concealers that I like for the under eye I have the Kat Von D locket foundation in medium warm 27 this is kind of new to me but I have been liking it same can be said for the Dior forever um, undercover concealer I have it in the shade 31 and 40 31 is a little bit light 40 is just slightly lighter than my skin tone and then the born this way foundation or sorry concealer in medium tan this is a really nice color but it is it doesn't have as much yellow in it as I would like it has a little bit of a gray undertone and I don't want to say that to scare you but when you swatch it next to your other concealers you can really see it but under the eyes oh sorry I'm I'm dropping them here uh, under the eyes it does look nice Let's get all of these Essence concealers out of the way. These are all too pastel and too light for my skin tone. These color correcting sticks are quite nice. They are creamy for a stick formula. These I didn't test because they're basically just going to show up white on my skin. And these little chubby ones I didn't love. I found them kind of dry. But if you have a paler skin tone, perhaps give these a try. But they're way too light for me to do any color correcting. More correctors that are not a great match. These Maybelline Master Camo. These are suited to a lighter skin tone. But I do love these. I have some others that I'll show you shortly. This Essence Cover Stick, they don't make my shade. This actually was good. It's the first corrector I ever owned. It's probably like six or seven years old from Coastal Scents. It's their, their eye brightener, but like I said, it's six or seven years old, so probably time to let go. I just have fond memories of it. The Color Corrector Cushion Wonder, they've come out with more shades of this from Hard Candy, which is really exciting. So if you have a lighter skin tone, get this one. If you have a deeper skin tone, go for the more orange. And then from Physicians Formula, this is their color corrector cushion, and I haven't even used this. Let me hold on to this because I want to do a physician's formula video, but I would assume this is probably going to go after that. As I was saying, I love the Maybelline Master Camo Pen, so I'm going to be keeping all of these. I have a video on my favorite drugstore concealers and my favorite drugstore under eye correctors, which I will link to down below. And then I also really like this Hard Candy Color Correct Expert Cream in this kind of orange shade. I have these guys here from Dior. They are their Fix It color and their Fix It. I'm going to be holding on to all of these with the exception of this one. It's just too deep in 005, but these are meant to color correct, conceal, prime, face, eyes, lips. The shade that works really good for my skin tone is 25, and then these are all kind of correctors. They're really lightweight. If you have dry skin, I think you'll especially like these, but I am oily and I can make them work. They're not super greasy by any means, but they just have a really nice level of hydration. I have some palettes here. These are new from Rimmel and I've only kind of touched them once, so I'm gonna hold on to these to continue to play with. This one from Quo, as you can see, it is just so creamy, so that has to go. No good for my skin. And then the Maybelline Master Camo. This is similar to the MAC palette. I wouldn't say it's as good as the MAC palette, but if you're looking for something similar, the corrector is nice and dark in here. It comes in three different shades, so if you are looking for kind of a color correcting concealing palette, it is a nice affordable alternative. More color correctors from Juviance. This is too light for me, so it's going to go. The rest of these are going to stay. These are the Essence color correcting sticks that actually work for me, and then this is the LA Girl concealer, sorry, corrector in the orange. 
So here are a ton of concealers that I haven't formed an opinion on because they are new to me or I just haven't tested them out that much. So I have the Dermablend Smooth Liquid Camo in Cedar. I love the foundation of this, so I'm, I have high hopes for the concealer. The Boing Hydrating Concealer in the shade number three. This is kind of something that you would use more on like the top of your cheekbones. Doesn't have a ton of coverage, really lightweight, maybe if you're wearing like a lightweight BB cream. The Physicians Formula Insta Ready Concealer. This one is in the shade medium. I've heard it has amazing coverage. Stellar Beauty Concealer. This is their Limitless Concealer in 04. Sephora Make No Mistakes High Coverage Concealer. I used this in the review of the Make No Mistakes foundation stick if you want to see it in action. This Arbonne concealer, oh this is in 10 French Vanilla. If I miss any shades just ask me in the comments. I'm trying to get it all covered. The Arbonne concealer in tan and then this is medium in the Milani Re Release. Retouch and Erase concealer. This is a really great concealer that I hear no one talking about. It's the Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer. I'm gonna be keeping the shade Light Beige and Deep Beige. They also have a corrector, but it's too light for me, but this is really nice, great coverage, super creamy, and um, I, I recommend you go to try. Mary Kay gets overlooked. This and their semi-matte gel lipsticks are two of my favorite things that they do. This Clarins concealer is another one that I don't hear many people talking about, and again, you get tons of product in here. This is their instant concealer, and I wear it in the shade 03 under my eyes. The Bye Bye Under Eye from IT. This has seen better days, but I'm keeping it in the shade tan. And then Pure Beige from LA Girl. This is another great one. We have some super snazzy concealers here from Dior and Yves Saint Laurent. These are in the shade 2. They are their, their Touche Claw, which is very famous. I'm going to hold on to these. And then this is from Dior. It's their Flash Luminizer. So they have some that are in kind of a skin tone and then others that are more luminizers and have a little bit of shimmer to them. But they're ones that are in skin tone. As expensive as they are, I think they're fabulous. So nice for light makeup days, powder foundation. If you just want like a little bit of coverage under the eyes, but it just, I don't know, it looks really good on the skin. So I have them in the shade four and five. So these three concealers are going. I actually really love this NYX Incredible Waterproof Concealer. I wore it in the shade tan, but it's been discontinued to my to my knowledge and research, so there's no point of me having it really. The Marcel City Concealer is too light for me, and then this is from Joe Fresh. It kind of doubles. It has like a cream concealer and then a stick concealer. I really like the stick for highlighting my brow bone, but I'm not gonna hold on to it just for that. I've had it for years, so it's gonna go. I have a selection of concealers here that are going and staying. This one is staying. It's from the brand Miss Sporty. My boyfriend picked it up while in Serbia in the shade medium. Not a great color match, but I kind of want to do like a European makeup, drugstore makeup look. This, again, is also European. It's the last collection lasting finish concealer. I feel like every British beauty blogger talked about this, and I had to have it, although the shade does not match me. I got it in a swap, so it's going to go along with the Wet n Wild Illuminati Highlighting Concealer. I did like this, but it has since separated. And then from Avon, this is their True Color Concealer. I'm going to keep the one in the shade Medium Deep. I haven't really played with it much. I don't really have any thoughts yet. I have three sticks here. They're not really concealers, but I would use them for like a cream highlight that is matte. So I'm going to hold on to them. It's the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation in Medium Beige. This is from the Smashbox Trio. It's kind of the highlighting stick. And then you know I love the contour version of this. So this is the Mega Glow Makeup Stick in Your Natural. So all of these concealers are a smidge too deep for me for under the eyes or, and they're not really the kind of formula I would use to spot conceal but I am going to keep them around because I do like to use a little bit of a deeper concealer under my eyes sometimes to correct and then go on with something brighter because if you go on with something really bright it can look kind of gray and gross under your eyes. So this is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. This is in the shade tan. I think it doesn't say. The Master Conceal from Maybelline in Medium Deep. This is the shade uh, number one. No. Definitely more than that. Number four from Charlotte Tilbury. It is their Mini Eye Magic Wand Stick. And then from Smashbox, this is their Studio Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Dark. And lastly, we have the Arbonne Concealer. I think I already kept one of these. I can't remember. In Medium Warm, I'll hold on to it. I do want to do some more Arbonne reviews. The Revlon Color Stay Concealer in Medium. And then this is from Dermablend. I haven't tried this one yet. It is the Derma Finish, and it's in the shade 45. Here's an overview of what is going. There are 42 concealers here. I know it doesn't look like it. I counted twice. And then that means I have a grand total of 77 concealers staying. I think I did a pretty good job. A few of these are backups. Some of them I've yet to test. And then others are kind of favorites and some are for variety's sake. So not, not too bad. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this declutter. Stay tuned. I still have bronzers, blushes, highlighters, my lip product collection. That's probably going to be like three declutters in a row. So be sure to keep an eye out for those. If you'd like to connect with me, be sure to find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.